Hey, I had some stuff happen today. I need to watch my stress levels. I honestly didn't have much uh, motivation to do a daily video today, but show must go on. So I'm going to give you guys some good news. Uh, I had some birthday money, so I went ahead and I got the uh, season pass for Dragon Ball Fighters. Now, I I've never really been a fan of blind season passes. I mean, even the Dynasty Warriors 9 season pass is blind, which is <laughs> kind of weird because they're offering three new weapons. And if they just told people what weapons they were, I'm sure more people would buy them because, you know, they're probably going to be some of the more popular characters being decloned. But I had the money for it. There was also that 20% uh, off PSN code for, I, I don't know, it's like watching some MLB The Show 18 game or whatever. Like I just I just played the video and then tabbed out and it gave me the code. So it was under $30. Uh, I wasn't really open to paying $35 for a season pass, especially with all, most of it being blind. Uh, they've only revealed two of the characters. The other six are still unknown. Uh, I haven't really kept up with the leaks. Uh, if you guys know if there's some kind of leak that's been basically confirmed due to the first two characters being revealed, then go ahead and let me know. But regardless, I went ahead and bought it. Uh, so on Tuesday, I believe it's on Tuesday, either Tuesday or Wednesday, uh, the patch is supposed to come out. So I'll play that. Uh, I'm like not really great at that game. Uh, another reason I decided to buy it was because uh, the FTC here is like finally starting to come together again, and basically all they play is Dragon Ball Fighters and Street Fighter Five. I don't care about Street Fighter Five, and uh, we had a meetup last month, and it actually went pretty well. There was a pretty good turnout. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I didn't play because I'd just been so out of practice, but uh, the next one's going to be about a week after the DLC drops. So I'm going to try to put some time into it. Uh, obviously, you know. Local tournaments aren't really a good uh, source of income, but it'll be fun to go. Maybe I can meet some new friends and stuff. So I went ahead and bought that. Uh, also on Wednesday, I believe at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so my time, the uh, Fire Emblem Musou, uh, the final DLC, is supposed to come out. Uh, they have talked about it a little bit. Apparently, uh, it's just like the other DLC where uh, pretty much all of them are clones except for one. So I think the uh, the the sword chick or whatever, the dancer or whatever, I don't even know her name. Uh, she is a unique character. They also have some pretty uh, interesting stuff. Uh, there's going to be like an officer reset, which gives you a bunch of materials. Uh, I have, uh, I think I have Lin at like level 110 or something, so I'll probably try that out and then uh, save scum. Also, the level cap is being raised to level 50. Uh, they're going to put the Astra skill from the amiibo. Uh, in the game, so you'll actually be able to sacrifice a slot to get Astra, which is kind of nice uh, considering the annoying grind to even get one Astra. There's some other stuff as well. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good patch. Uh, I don't know if they're going to support it anymore after this. It seems like it's a pretty uh, definitive like final patch because of all the stuff that they're adding. So I'll be checking that out on Wednesday. Uh, the next couple days, if I'm up for it, I'm probably going to do some prep time. I would like to raise... Uh, some in-game money to try to maybe level up the one unique character. Uh, the skills that the other characters get are pretty cool as well. If you're interested in my thoughts on the game, uh, I was going to do it today, but then I decided that with the final patch coming out, it's probably better to let that uh, you know simmer for a little bit and see how much the patch changes things, and then uh, I'll go into it from there. Uh, obviously, there's been you know a million reviews for it, and all the content in the game has already been covered because I I got the game like six months late, so it's not like I'm trying to you know leech off views or anything. I I think people will like my opinion because I do have a lot of people that mostly just watch me for Muso content. So if you're interested in watching that, uh, I'll probably have that out maybe towards the end of the week uh, after I have a day or two with a new patch. Uh, I, I do have a couple of endgame ready characters. I have, I have three endgame ready characters, so I should be able to tackle the new content and try out some new builds and stuff. I'll try to get all that out maybe by the end of next week. So that's what's going on now. Uh, April is going to be a pretty dry month. Uh, the only thing that I really have planned is Wizard of Legend, and that does not even have a definitive release date yet. They said that they are content complete, like I said in my last update video, but they don't have like an actual release date for it because of all the you know, red tape they have to go through to put it on all these consoles and stuff. I did sign up for the uh, the key mailer. Actually, they had me go on some other site to, to get a key. Uh, either way, I'm going to buy that game uh, regardless. Uh, I'm not really going to be spending that much on the channel next month. Uh, I do have some extra money. I might go ahead and get Sonic Mania or something just for my personal use because I, I do have a trip coming up. But uh, other than that, uh, I hope you guys will, will exercise some some patience and some understanding with the, the channel next month. Uh, there's the Dynasty Warrior Season Pass, but uh, that's going to be 
put out uh, by month or monthly and the first one is basically just going to be hideaway stuff there's supposed to be some kind of repeatable missions which I hope we're going to have some kind of actual incentive to do them like maybe some accessories or something but they haven't said anything about that at all uh, there's supposed to be a patch to fix the optimization as well so I will be doing that I don't know how much uh, content the first piece of DLC is going to be have I think honestly for their sake they should have put the weapons first I think that would have been great damage control and like actually telling people you know what weapons they are would uh, definitely probably encourage a lot more people to buy it but right now it's all blind like all these season passes are I felt kind of dirty buying the the Dragon Ball Fighter season pass, but Bardock looks pretty cool. Uh, one of the reasons I stopped playing uh, the you know Dragon Ball Fighters in general is because I like Yamcha's playstyle. He's like perfect for me, but he sucks. He does no damage, and <laughs> it just kind of like made me not want to play that much. It seems like Bardock has more options, and he actually does pretty good damage. Either way, it was birthday money. I figured you know rather than spend like 20 bucks on a pizza or something I can spend 27.99 on a season pass and maybe I'll get a couple videos out of it so uh, this next week is actually going to be pretty stacked and then after that it's going to be pretty dry until the Dynasty Warriors 9 season pass comes out and at that point I don't even know how much like replay value that's even going to have like I hope that the the hideaway stuff actually has some kind of unique function or something if it's just random furniture I honestly don't care I'll try to get as much content out of it as I can but uh it's probably just going to be chill stuff, so if you guys have any suggestions, you can go ahead and let me know. Uh, I could do a series on Knights of Valor 3. Uh, I will be doing a lot on Wizard of Legend when that comes out. And then other than that, it's probably just going to be finishing up the stuff I have on the Switch. I do still need to unlock Rosa on uh, Bayonetta 2. And then the rest of the other games, uh, I'll probably try to cover some stuff on them as well. So uh, give me some, uh, some time here. It's been kind of a stressful week. I'll try to get back in the, the groove of things, but there are some exciting things happening, especially next week, so I might just take the next couple of days to chill out, maybe not have any uh, mic commentary or anything. Anyway, give me some feedback, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.